1 Peter 2. And this is the word that was preached to you. Therefore, rid yourselves of all malice and deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and slander of every kind. Like newborn babies, crave pure spiritual milk, so that you may grow up in your salvation. Now that you have tasted that the Lord is good, the living stone and a chosen people. As you come to him, the living stone, rejected by the humans, but chosen by God as pre and precious to him, you also, like living stones, are being built into spiritual into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For the script in Scripture it says, "See, I lay a stone in Zion, a chosen and precious cornerstone, and the one who trusts in Him will never be put to shame." Now you who believe, the stone is precious, but to those who do not believe, the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, and a stone that causes people to stumble, and a rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they disobey the message, which is also what they were destined for. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare and pray, and declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness and into his wonderful light. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Gosh. Living godly lives in a pagan society. Dear friends, I urge you as foreigners and exiles to abstain from sinful desires, which wage war against your soul. Live such good lives among the pagans that though they accuse you of doing wrong, they may see your good deeds and glorify God on the day he visits you. Submit yourselves to the Lord, uh, submit yourselves for the Lord's sake to every human authority whether to the emperor as the supreme authority or governors who are sent by him to punish those who do wrong and commit those, commend those who do right. For it is God's will that by doing good you shall silence the ignorance, ignorant talk of foolish people. Live as free people, but do not use your freedom as a cover-up for evil. Live as God's slaves. Show proper respect to everyone. Love the family of believers. Fear God. Honor the emperor. Slaves, in relevant fear of God, in reverent fear of God, submit yourselves to your masters, not only to those who are good and considerate, but also to those who are harsh. For it is commendable if someone bears up under the pain of unjust suffering, because they are conscious of God. But how is it to your credit if you receive a beating for doing wrong and endure it? But if you suffer for doing good and endure it, it is commendable before God. To this you were called, because Christ suffered for you, leaving you, leaving you and an example that you should follow in his steps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When they hurled insults at him, he did not retaliate. When he suffered, he made no threats. Instead, he entrusted himself to him who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness by his w wounds you had been healed for you were like sheep going astray but now you have returned to the shepherd and and overseer of your souls